of you. Lord, give me one more chance to understand that I am fearfully and wonderfully made in your own image. Lord, give me one more chance to trust in Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Lord, give me one more chance to treat or to be gentle with myself because I know that you are there to help me to grow, to walk on the right. Hello, my dear friends, uh, my dear brothers and sisters. It, it is a blessing to join you today as we all engage in the youth figure of prayer. As we all know, the theme is love is a verb. And as we all know, uh, a verb is an action word. Today, I'll be speaking about to love is to trust. And the key test that I'll be using is in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For that he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them of them that diligently seek him. My friends, today, uh, God wants to remind us to put our love in action. A story is told about a fire rope walker who walked on the Niagara Falls. And in one of his exhibitions, he asked the crowds, who among you, or do you believe that someone could actually cross the, the, the falls by pushing a wheelbarrow? Uh, but this time a person had sitting on well, they believe that he could do that. But then he also asked the question, who among you will be my passenger? My friends, there was a deep silence because no one wanted to risk his or her life in that exhibition. My friends, they were faced with the difference between believing and trusting. One thing is to believe and one thing is to trust, my friends. And today God wants to remind us of these dif differences. Sometimes we believe that God is there, God is the provider, God is the creator. But then we sometimes find it difficult to trust in God with our life. But the question, what does even trust even means? Well, to trust means that is the belief that someone or something is trustworthy. And the question I believe God is asking us today is whether we believe that he is a trustworthy being, a trustworthy person, someone whom we can trust our life with. My friends, if you look at the five letters of trust, the first letter, which is T, is to trust, is trust. If you read Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. The next letter, which is R, is relationship, my dear friends, relationship. Uh, God wants us to form a friendship relationship with you, uh, with Him. Uh, John 15 verse 13 says, "Greater love has no one than this, that someone laid down his life for his friends." We are God's friends, my, my dear friends. The next letter, which is you, is unique, my friends. We are unique in the sight of God. If we approach, um, sorry, uh, Psalm 139 verse 14, it says. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. And I know that we're full. My friends, we are wonderfully and fearfully made in the image of God. The next letter, which is S, is a savior. My friends, we needed a savior and God provided that savior for us. And that is Jesus Christ. If you read John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but I have eternal life. We have eternal life in Jesus Christ. And the last letter is T, treatment. My dear friends, for a long time, you've been emphasized on the importance of treating other people well, being gentle with other people. But we have less emphasized the importance of treating ourselves or being gentle with ourselves well. And if you read Ephesians 5, verse 29, it says, for no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourish and cherish it, just as the Lord does the church. When we fall, when we sin, when we do mistakes, sometimes we even abuse ourselves. We even speak harsh words to ourselves. And those harsh words break even our spirit. And God is reminding us that if our trust in him is so strong, we will actually believe that he is right there to lift us up, to carry us through, to let us grow whenever we fall. And the question I have for you and myself today is, are we asking, Lord, Lord, give me one more chance to trust you. Lord, give me one more chance to trust with all my heart. Lord, give me one more chance to form that friendship 
relationship with you. Lord, give me one more chance to understand that I am fearfully and wonderfully made in your own image. Lord, give me one more chance to trust in Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Lord, give me one more chance to treat or to be gentle with myself because I know that you are there to help me to grow, to walk on the right path. Is this your prayer? My dear friends, God wants us to love him. God wants us to trust him. And our love will be complete if our trust for him is so strong. And when our love for him is complete or so strong, our love for other people will be also complete. May God help all of us to have that trust, that engine, that action word, that trust that will uh, uh, help us to uh, love God and love our members, love our family members, love our friends, love our colleagues, that love every person in our life. May God grant us that spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen.